بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلي وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اما بعد مختصر سيره الرسول بيما محمد بن عبد الوهاب يا ريكويست فور ساينس الله موست جلوريفايد هاز شون ماني ساينس ات ذا سيم تايم سيلين ذا هارتس اوف ذا ريسبيليفرز سيت اس فارو الله موست هاي سيس واقسموا بالله جهاد ايمانهم لان جاءتهم ايات لا يؤمنن به بها and they swear the strongest the strongest oath by Allah that if they come to the Messiah they will surely believe therein up to his words ولكن نكترهم يجهلون but most of them behaving ignorantly and he must I say وما منع نرسى بالآيات إلى نكدب بها الأولون and nothing stops us from sending the آيات proofs evidence signs but that the people of all denied them Allah Most High has explained that nothing prevents him from sending them except that the people of all denied them and if they also denied them they will be deserving of the punishment of the destruction of destruction the scholars of Tafsir and the scholars of Hadid have narrated on the authority of Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu that he said the people of Makkah asked him that is the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam turned a sapphire into gold and to remove the mountains from them so that they might form and it was said to him if you wish we will give them a parasite or if you wish if you wish we will give them what they ask and if they disbelieve they will be destroyed as those before them were destroyed he said no i will give them a respite then allah revealed and nothing stops us from sending the ayah the ayat proves evidence and signs but that but that the people of all denied them Ibn Abi Hatim narrated on the authority of Al Hasan Al Basri regarding this verse that he said, "As a mercy to you on all nation of Muslim, if you are if we send these signs and you disbelieve in them, that will befall those before you will the those before you who will also befall you. The signs come to them one after another, and they do not believe in them." Allah the Allah Most High says, "Wa in taatihi min ayatim ro min ayat rabbil la kano anhu hamuridin." And never an ayah sign comes to them from the ayat proofs, evidences, verses, presence, signs, and revelations it is of their Lord, but that they have been tottering about turning away from it. Allah must verify and inform them that the signs come to them, but they turn away from them and they shall see the truth of that which was brought by the Messenger Jesus when he destroyed them. As he destroyed those before them, those they are seen which was denial of the messengers, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. For Allah most glorified, most I say, وَمَا كَارَبُكَ مُلِكَ الْقُرَى بِحَتَّى يَبْعَثَ فِي أُمِّي رَسُولًا And never will your will your Lord destroy the towns or the populations until He sends to their mother town a messenger. And he and he informed them that so that that so great was the was their disbelief that even if a book had descended written on a paper and they touched it with their own hands they would deny it. And he the most glorified made it clear that even if he had made the messenger Salah Salam had made the messenger Salah Salam an angel he would have made him appear as a man since they were unable to see the angels in the form of which they were created. And thus their contradiction is made apparent since they believe that the messenger Salah Salam. Was a human being and not an angel. Allah must I say, "Waqala lanu 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 laka hatta tafjurana min al-ardi an bua." And they say, "We shall not believe in you, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, until you come spring to gush forth from the earth for us." And if these signs were given to them and they they did not believe in them, the punishment of destruction would befall them. And they did not necessarily believe, not only the establishment of the messages against them, and that evidence established by deeds other than them, and they are also not fighting. For their words, until you break open for us from the ground of a spring, the city being a broken upon the open in Makkah, and the appearance of a river from which the from which the cultivation arises and arises, and Allah most glorified, most high has previously ordained in His wisdom that His house will be situated in a dry valley, in order that they should they should be nothing there which will attract people for worldly reasons, thus causing their pilgrimage to be undertaken for some material benefit. And if they had a garden of dates and grapes, it will it will entail ease and comfort in the life of this world, which will instead a dominion of 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 its status. The same applies if there was there in a place of zokrof that is gold. And um, as for causing the sky to fall in shattered pieces, this will not happen until the resurrection. And as for bringing Allah, as as bring Allah and the angels before them, when the people of the Moses, one of the Moses, Musa, alayhi salam, ask him less than this, they were seized by a thunderbolt. And Allah, Musa, says, "Asaluk ahl, asaluk ahl al-kitab, and to nazal al-kitab in the sky." The people of the church ask you to cause a book to descend upon 
them from heaven. He most clarified as Mary clarified that the apologists and the people of the scripture ask him that a book be sent down from the heaven, and he made clear that neither group will believe if it becomes to them, and that they only ask him in order to avex him and disturb him. And Allah said uh, concerning the apologists, Walo anzalna ala kitab fi kartasin sallam suhu, and even if we had sent down unto you, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a message written on paper, that they will they will touch it. Uh, after regarding the hip of the scripture, he said, فَقَدْ سَعَلُوا مُوسَ أَكْبَرُ مِنْ دَارِكَ Indeed, they asked Musa Moses for even greater than that, up to his words, مِتَاقَ uh, غَلِيدَ A firm covenant. But in spite of this, they broke the covenant, disbelieved in the signs of Allah, and killed the prophets. In, the, in this, there is a warning, which is that, uh, is that when signs which the, the demand come to those who are not guided, there is no benefit in their coming in them. In fact, they instead the punishment of destruction. If they do not believe in, do not believe in them, and the matter is made worse for them, as Allah Musa says, uh, for the wrongdoing of the Jews. And when the disciples requested from the Messiah Isa alayhi salam, salam, the table spread with food, it was one of the signs which necessitated that those who disbelieved in it would receive a punishment the like of which no one in all of the world had been given by Allah. Before the Torah was revealed, some who, those who disbelieved in the messengers who were immediately destroyed by the punishment of destruction, he showed many signs when he sent Musa, Musa, he sent Moses Musa alayhi salam, salam, that, uh, that the remembrance of them might remain in the earth. Uh, for after the Torah was revealed, he did not destroy a nation uh, with the punishment of destruction as he Musa says وَلَقَدْ بَعَثَيْنَ لَمُوسَ الْكِتَابَ مِنْ بَعَدِ مَا أَحْلَكْنَا الْقُرُونَ الْأُولَى and indeed we gave Musa Moses after we had destroyed the punishment of the, the generations of old scripture indeed when Banu Israel committed these sins which, which uh, such as they had done for disbelief and acts of disobedience Allah punished some of them and he allowed some of them to remain because they did not all agree upon disbelief and they, are, and they are continue to be in the ad those who remain on the path of righteousness Allah the Allah Musa says uh, and we have broken them that is the Jewish up, up, up into various separate groups on the ad some of them are righteous and some are away uh, from that and he Musa says a part of the people of the scripture stand for the right they recite the voice of Allah during the hearts of the night of the night uh, prostrating themselves in prayer and it was part of the wisdom and mercy of Allah most high and that when he sent Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the seal of the messengers he did, not, he did not destroy his people with the with the punishment of destruction rather he punished some of them let punish some of them uh, with different types of punishment, such as those who mocked of the of whom Allah said, "In uh, Inna kafeina kal mustahzien, true we shall suffice you against the suffers." And the person against whom the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that Allah might set one of his dogs on him was was born or stone to pieces by a lion, as Allah Musa says. They say, Do you wait for us anything except one of the two best things, martyrdom or victory? Well, we await for you either that uh, Allah will, will afflict you with the punishment from yourself. Allah informs us that He punishes the disbelievers sometimes at the, at the hands of the believers in jihad and by lawful punishment and sometimes in other ways. And this was necessitated by their beliefs, such as what happened to Christ and others. For if he had destroyed them, they will have ceased to exist, and the benefit of them will have ceased, and none will have remained from their offspring who believed, uh, as opposed to uh, Inam, to punishing them by humiliation and subjugating them, because that causes them to become weak, and when people are able to achieve all of their needs, they become preoccupied with them as, as opposed to them, or, or to this when they are unable to achieve them. For this calls them to repent to Allah as in the saying, being weak and unable is a, is a, is a protection against sin and disobedience, is why the majority of them believe. And Allah said to Moses Musa salam, in the Torah, I will harden the heart of Pharaoh so that he will not believe in you, in order that my saints and my wonders may be seen. He has made, he has made it clear that in, the, in India there is a wisdom. The spreading of his saints which proved the truth of his Prophet salam, his Musa salam, informed the people that Allah had spoken to him and that he had written the Torah for him and made manifest for him his saints. The mention, the mention of which remain in the Halan and implicit in the in, in the in this and in the handling of Pharaoh's heart and there, there was that which initiated his destruction and the destruction of his people. Who rejected the existence of the, of the Creator 
which is why Moses uh, Musa Al Salam wrote him signs which were suitable for his circumstances. As over Israel behavior towards the Messiah Isa Al Salam, they acknowledged the first book of Allah and so they did not expire that which was required and he did not require any proof of prophethood. These the messengers who are who came before him had brought proof of it. He only required required for confirmation of his prophethood. But in spite of this, Allah manifested in his hands uh, the sign like the signs of those before him and greater than them. And in spite of this, he did not bring signs of destruction. In fact, Allah made it clear in the Quran that they will not benefit them, rather, they will harm them because he knew that their hearts were like those of the first generations. As Simostai says, Kadalika Mata Ladina Minikam Rasulin, Illa Kalu Saro Majnun, Atawaso Bihi, Ainaam. Uh, likewise, no messenger came to those before them, but they said, I mean, a or a madness or a madman have they, have they, the people of the past, uh, trans, uh, transmitted this saying, this saying to these uh, Quraysh pagans. As Imosai says, Kadalik Aladina min Kabrim to call him. So said the people before, the, before them, words of, so similar. And he, Mosai says, Akufaru uh, Hormu Laikum, are you a disbeliever of Quraysh better than uh, these uh, nations of uh, no. Noah, Lot, Lot, uh, Saleh, and the people of uh, Pharaoh, uh, Pharaoh, who were destroyed, and it was Surah, and it was uh, Surah, uh, Ektarabat, that is uh, Al Kamar, in which the, the, the splitting of uh, their moon was mentioned. They are now of the signs, and they are saying, This is continuous magic. And in it, it is said, and did there has come to them news in the Quran wherein they, there is enough warning to check uh, to check uh, to check them from evil. Then he said, Are you displeased with all nation of Quraysh better than those who displeased with the messengers who came before you? Amalakum bara out of Zubar. Or, or have you an immunity against our torment in the divine scriptures or they say we are agreed to be uh, victorious that is that you are not being punished like them in either because you do not deserve their that what they deserve, deserve or because Allah has announced that he will not, he not punish you he is what with this, this with regard to the action of Allah and as regard the strength of the Messiah and his followers they say we are an extremely victorious because they are greater in number and stronger as they said I will forget any hero Makam Asal Nadia. Which of the two people that is believers or disbelievers is based in the point of position and as regards position, place of consult for consultation? Up to his word, uh, Athat and Wariya, goods and outward appearance. In world and in appearance, Allah says, Sayyidim Jawal Duna Dubur, the multitude will be put to flight and they will show their backs. And Allah informs his Messenger that they will be put into, into flight. And this is a Makan Surah when they are when there were few followers and they were weak, and naturally no one doubted before his migration to Al Madinah that his situation will be elevated and that he and that he will fight them. But it was as Allah had informed them it will be and this was in Badr and it was the way of Allah as Musa says Sunnah Allah that has been the way of Allah already with those who passed away before and uh, and when the and, and, and when the disbelievers are victorious it's only because of the sins of the believers which cause us elevation in their faith and if they repent Allah will help them as he must says while at the head of the to alone and come to mu'minin so do not become weak against your enemy nor be sad and you will be superior in victory if you are indeed true believers and if it is a part of the polite perfume of his wisdom and mercy that they should not be killed by the punishment of destruction as were those before them Allah must say says akufar khayrum laikum rakum barat fi zubur are your disbelievers of Christ better than those uh, these nations of uh, Nuh, No, Lut, Lot, Sali, and the people of Pharaoh, Pharaoh, who are destroyed? Or uh, have you an immunity against our torment in the divine scriptures? He did not destroy them in spite of the fact that he, most glorified, had established the proof against them. Yet he displayed the most perfect wisdom and mercy thereby. Is the region which he conveyed to them brought about perfect guidance and proof. And is remaining and is re and is restraining himself from re uh, delivering the punishment of destruction to them, resulting in the majority of the nation remaining until they were guided and believed. And in the sending of the seal of the messengers, also there is a great uh, wisdom and abundant blessings which were not present in the messengers of the other prophet. May the blessings, peace, and mercy of Allah be upon all of them. Return the surah, the return the seerah of the Prophet.